Vindla Rangacha talks about how she, her mother and friends started Maleshwaram Enterprising Women's Society. I was born in 1929. I've always lived in Bangalore. And those were the days when women were not uh, uh, encouraged to go out and hold jobs and all that. Though my husband was a very broad-minded person, he said one thing, you have total freedom to do what you would like to help people. That is what really put me on to thinking about people and what they would need. And what. Both my parents, my father and my mother, were very, very active so far as doing something for things concerned. My father, he was a member of so many places like the Ram Mandiram Prince, which was a religious thing, the temple, Krishna temple, and the um, cooperative society. My mother was thinking more of women. She was thinking of art and culture. There was a ladies' association, which was very good. They taught them bamboo craft and stitch craft and music and all that. But I thought the women should have something a little more, uh, uh, what do you call it? And uh, we started something where women would just meet, talk about uh, what was happening in the world outside, what is happening around you. If there's a play games, for instance, I play badminton. I, I was then living in a rented house which had a huge compound. So we were able to put up a badminton court and a tennis court. court. Attracted a lot of young, uh, you know, just married, just passed out, that sort of crowd, you see. Well, and uh, six rooms in the house, so one room, I made a little library. So people who had books would give and we would be able to come and read and all that. Great times, I tell you. This is something I just started, maybe because I wanted something to do. Maybe I like people, I wanted them together. And I had a very good friend also who helped me, uh, called Shakuntala, who happens to be the, happened, because she is also not with us now, the daughter of Dr. S. Radhakrishna, who finally became the president of India. She had a great idea, she said, uh, these people have a um, habit of uh, talking, talking, talking all the time. So it means we are like cats, always mewing. <laughs> a cat mews. So let's call it mews. We're all ladies. Uh, so much of humor in it, you know, and it caught my fancy. So we said, all right. We got a few people. We said, we'll register this. We went to the registrar and we said, mews. But uh, there was a lady registrar. She said, what does this mean? I said, no, oh, this is cat. She said, no, I can't register it like that. You should tell me what is M-E-W-S. So a lot of things we thought of. Then we came to the thing. It will be Maleshwaram Enterprising Women Society. So today it is there on 17th Cross Road. And then we thought, social work, all right. This is for our own uh, sort of entertainment. You, know, you should do something. So the idea came that we should start a, a hostel for working women because that was needed. And believe it or not, at that time, there was not a single hostel for women. Even government did not have a hostel. But because there was nothing, and we asked, and I still remember uh, when we talked about this, uh, we didn't think of <laughs> what troubles we might have. But my mother said, yes, yes, well, it's a good idea, and we started it. And she really, with her group of people, I'm giving them full credit, they built up, they, we bought the land, we built up the, the old house which was there, was converted into also Today also it is there, working very well. And uh, I must say that whole area has become a place where we encourage uh, anything done by women. But we say that it should be connected to art and culture. And it's a quite a well-known area in Malaysia.